Welcome back everyone, I'm Rusty Rockhound, and in today's video I'm going to show you all the rocks that I found at Portage Park in March 2022. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I wonder what that sound is, it sounds like water is draining or something, but there's no pipes or anything. It's really weird. It doesn't sound like waves. It sounds like bubbles. I don't even know. Weird. All right, so first up is this very mysterious type of rock. It's almost a sort of mudstone looking rock, but it also has some fossil qualities. It's very stripy. And it is a yellow translucent color. So, so let's just look at these rocks one at a time, starting with the smallest one. So you may see there are some fossil qualities in there. And here's what that one looks like wet. And then there's this one. And then here is that one wet. So there are definitely some fossil qualities, but I'm not sure what type of fossil that would be. If you have any idea what type of fossil this might be, let me know because it's a very interesting one and I'd like to know the time period, what type of fossil it was, of course, like what organism. If I had to guess, it'd probably be some sort of sea plant or algae. But it's a very interesting rock. This rock here is very similar, although it has some agate slash chalcedony details in there. And here is that one wet. You can see some nice quartz pockets with a little bit of agate detail. Kind of looks like a face. This rock is very similar to that previous one. You can see some obvious fossil details right there and then on the top there's a little bit of agate details looks like there might be some eyes in there there's especially some fossil details right there and some agate details right there and then here's an interesting yellow quartz This one is similar to those previous ones, and you have some yellow agate bands right there, a little bit of a quartz pocket. And on this side right here, you can see some nice agate bands right there. Right here is like a sort of limestone. There's just fossils throughout the whole thing. 
can see there's a lot of fossil details in there. And then here's a sort of Petoskey looking at Charlevoix stone. And here is a very interesting, almost sort of like an agatized coral. You can see very obviously that it was a type of coral, but then it's been replaced by this yellow quartz. And now we move on to the more interesting rocks. Right here is a very nice fossil. Probably Charlevoix stone that was replaced with a quartz. It's very nice. And then here are two lightning stones, some call them. Some call them septarians but you can see there are some agate details in there, which is pretty cool. And this one's really cool with those very translucent quartz pockets. And then right here is another one of those little swirly fossils that I have found a couple of them and showed a couple in other videos. just this very very nice brown and yellow rock which is also the same type of rock that I found my best and biggest agate in which is really cool the same type of minerals then right here is this really big almost like an ice cream sandwich rock you have this sort of brown and white host rock then you have the same thing on this side and then in between the two halves is this very white geode pocket with crystals that are slightly sparkly, but they're mostly smooth from the water. And it just looks really cool. And this one under the light is super pretty. And of course, I will show photos of these under the light at the end of the video. Now here is that agate that I found in that one video. It's a vein agate, so there's this vein of agate running through this host rock. There was likely a crack in the rock that filled with the minerals, and that's how that was formed. So like a cold water agate. You can see those nice agate bands. Not many of them, but it's still pretty cool, and that one under the light looks really nice too. And then finally, in my opinion, the best rock is this very, very nice fossil. I'm not sure what type of fossil it is, but it's super pretty. And it was similar to some of the other fossils that I found. It's been replaced by this yellow quartz, which I think is pretty interesting. So that's it for today's video. And of course, good luck on your hunts. And now on to some really nice photos.